Welcome to Will Rogers State Historic Park, and I'll be your interpreter for the day, Callista. And I want to introduce you to the home of Will and Betty Rogers. It was at this desk that Will Rogers wrote out many of his books and then newspaper articles that he was to have published in over 500 syndicated newspapers. He preferred to type on Remington typewriters, especially the portable ones, because he could pack that up, put it in a little saddle bag, and then take it out onto the trail, ride down to the beach, go get some inspiration, maybe on Inspiration Point. While he was sitting here typing, he could listen to the radio and see what's happening in the news that day. Will had his own radio broadcast. It actually came on right before the president FDR had his fireside chats. The idea being by FDR's PR people that they would have a captive audience that had been primed by Will Rogers. Will Rogers published six books and we have five of them on display on this bookshelf. Things like Letters of a Self-Made Diplomat, The Illiterate Digest, Ether and Me, Just Relax. These were Will's takes on life and he wrote down many of his words of wisdom and had these publicized. Up above, you see a collection of Ed Borain sketches. Ed was a very close friend of Will's and often came here to visit at the ranch. Seemingly out of place with the rest of the house, on the right you see a red velvet chair that was actually used in the parade when Will Rogers was voted honorary mayor of Beverly Hills in absentia. He came back to find a parade and was hoisted up on this chair and taken throughout town. Next to it, he, we have the fireplace. Now by the time Will's study was built, he actually did have central heating but Will loved a good fireplace. Will Rogers loved to travel. From an early age, he was traveling across the world, going down to Argentina, South Africa, over to Australia, and that travel bug never left him. He used lots of his money in order to experience the world, to meet different cultures, and to exchange stories back and forth. He would actually use this globe in order to map out his next adventures and come in and write it in pencil. When he had come back, he would take a pen and fill in that line. Inside the ranch home, every clock on display shows the same exact time. This is the local time in Barrow, Alaska, when Will Rogers died. Mrs. Rogers requested that all of the clocks be set to that time in order to honor Will Rogers. The museum has been left as if Will Rogers has just stepped away for a little bit. He's off on his trip to Alaska and Russia, and pretty soon he's going to be back typing on that typewriter to share with the rest of America the people that he had met, the different cultures that he learned about, and some sage words of wisdom. Thank you for coming to visit us here at Will Rogers State Historic Park. If you like that tidbit and little story that I told you, click the like and subscribe button and you'll be updated when future information comes out. Again, have a good day.